Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new today, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Leave us a thumbs up and any comments you want to leave. Today's project, we are going to be finally starting our entertainment center for our living room. We got a few uh, things out here in the garage for you. you can see all of our plywood over here in the corner. And then right down here on the ground below me, we got like our airsoft stone we're going to be putting on the fireplace. And then inside, we got a few more things to show you. So we're going to head inside, look at where we're going to be building this thing. And I'm going to show you guys the plans for this. And then we're going to get going on getting everything cut up. So let's head in the house and we'll get rolling. All right, so this is the area we're going to be putting our entertainment center on. It is 12 foot from edge to edge there. We're going to be going 11 feet and 6 inches, so just leaving a little bit of space on this far wall over here. The other side of the entertainment center is going to go against this wall here, so we're going to cover the rest of that entire wall. The other piece we have for this is our fireplace. It's going to look pretty much like that when we install it. This is my rough plans for this. Again, not like super perfect, but... So we're going to be going a total of, like I said, 138 inches, 98 inches tall. That's going to match those cabinets over there. So they're the exact, the entertainment center is the exact same height of those cabinets coming onto this wall. And then fireplace at the bottom, like you see, uh, the faux brick top and bottom. We're going to be building a little mantle. So something like... What you see in this picture will have a mantle like that above the fireplace. Uh, on the side, we're going to have 33 inch wide cabinets, I believe. I got to find my scribbles. I made scribbles. So, oh, yeah, right there at the bottom. So the cabinets are going to be 33 inches wide, edge to edge. What you don't see pictured is the trim at the base of the cabinet. It's going to look like our island down here. So the trim is going to come out on the sides like that. That's a four inch tall piece of trim. It'll come right under the doors and be level. And let's see, then we're going to have five shelves on each side. So what we're going to be building today is these two side pieces. So we're going to be building this piece and this piece today. Uh, and mainly we're going to be getting everything cut and prepared so that we can just start assembly. This one, I'm going to be just using glue and uh, my nailer. I'm not going to be doing any pocket holes on this. So let's head outside and we will start cutting up some wood. Oh, the other thing we're going to be doing, we're going to be adding a drawer right here. So the so cabinet's going to look like that. So it's going to be the double doors double doors, and then a drawer across the top. And then four inch trim at the bottom, so everything's gonna get lifted up just a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and make a couple of measurement adjustments, and then go ahead and start getting these pieces all cut out. Okay, so here's the drawing of all the parts I need to make. So our cabinet sides, we're gonna be cutting four of those. They're gonna be 15 and a quarter inches deep 35 and a quarter inches tall because we're going to be putting a three quarter inch front on the top and sides or i'm sorry top and front which will bring us up to 16 inches deep and the uh 36 inches tall jeez i cannot think so we'll be adding a top piece on and we'll be adding a front piece on that are three quarters of an inch thick that'll make them to our final measurements our countertops are going to be, cabinet tops, I'm sorry, are going to be 33 inches wide and 16 and three quarters of an inch deep. That's going to give us a three quarter of an inch lip overhanging the cabinet so that we kind of face in the doors. The nailers for the back, um, just 31 and a half inches. Those will go inside the cabinets on the top and bottom. I'm going to leave the back open so I can get the electrical outlets behind it, four inches tall. Shelf sides, so these units here are going to be 62 inches tall, 11 and three quarters of an inch deep. So we'll put a little tiny 
skinny face frame on the front of those just to make the plywood nice and smooth. We'll make it a final dimension of 12 inches. We need four of those and then we need 10 total shelves. So there'll be the top piece and then the four shelves. And of course the top of the cabinet will count as a shelf. Then for our face frame, we need four pieces that are 33 inches wide by two inches tall two pieces that are 33 inches wide by five inches tall those will be the two bottoms of each cabinet of the face frame that we're going to be nailing trim to so you'll have two inches or you'll have an inch of that showing and then the, that will be what the door closes on to the four pieces that are two inches wide by five inches tall basically those will go between the two smaller cabinet faces to actually frame out the drawer and then four pieces that are 22 inches tall two inches wide that'll be from the top of the top of the cabinet face the bottom piece of it up to where the drawer starts and um, that will make sense later on and we'll be cutting this stuff out of um, out of pine instead of cutting it out of plywood so that it's got nice edges all the way around so we don't have to worry about trying to make nice smooth edges because obviously plywood has crappy edges so we're going to go ahead and get some plywood laid down and start measuring this stuff out and start chopping up some boards okay we're going to make our first cross cut using my little homemade uh, saw guide uh so we're going to cut it 62 inches here that's going to give me enough to where i can cut the bottom piece at 62 inches, cut it into my four pieces that are 11.75 inches. So all I gotta do here is get my, my uh, guide in place. And the way it works is it's gonna leave exactly where I mark it. So this is my 62 inch mark. I'm gonna put my board exactly on that mark and everything under the board's gonna be what I keep. Everything up front here will be my next piece so if you're wanting to get your cut exact and you've made something like this this is just a piece of particle board with a little guide i just screwed it on straight set my saw on here and then just cut so obviously now this is cut perfectly for my saw and so all i've got to do is get it in place again right on my marks on both sides and then we'll clamp it down cut this piece and we'll be ready to start ripping this into four pieces. Okay, and that's the cut there. So you can see all my boards I had underneath there. And let's see how bad this thing splintered. So typically on your cross cuts, you get a lot of splintering, but it didn't splinter hardly at all, which is nice. So I'm not going to show you guys every single cut. I just want to show you how I'm doing it. So now I'll get going on making all these cuts. Tomorrow I can sand and then I can start uh, maybe Tuesday starting to button some of this stuff together. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. <clears throat> We're going to get started on getting everything glued up. I've done a light sanding, but really not much. This uh, finish is super, super smooth. So we're gonna get going on getting these things put together. So what I'll be doing first is getting our top shelf glued. So I'm gonna glue one side at a time. So I'm gonna stand my end up like this and then start getting my shelves all glued in. Um, these are my spacers. So these are gonna go between each shelf so that I can space them out the way I want them. And really that's gonna be it. We're gonna get them glued and screwed and, or not glued and nailed, not screwed. I'm not screwing because I don't want to make big holes on the wood. So I'm going to use my little um, nailer over there. So we're going to glue and then put some nails in. Uh, this should hold good. I would clamp, but I just I don't have enough clamps to do everything at once. Um, so we're just going to rely on nails. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and mark off where each shelf's going to go. That way I can start getting everything lined up and I know I got the shelf level in its spot and then we should be good to start rocking. So we're going to work with this side first, get it all taken care of, and then we'll put the other side on. That way I'm not smearing glue everywhere. 
Um, if I'm trying to do like both top shelves, the next shelf I put in, I run the risk of getting glue all over everything. So I'm gonna do this side and then add that side on to it. And really that's it. So we're just gonna get going. So here we go. Okay, that's one done. As you saw, I gave up on the nailing thing pretty quickly. Um, I much rather would have clamped everything, but I did not have enough clamps to pull the boards together tight enough for the glue to set up. So I have one of two thoughts. Number one, I'll just leave the screws in. I'll prime everything and then Bondo over the screw holes, make it smooth and paint it, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Or number two, I can leave the screws in while all the glue sets up and then bond it over the holes and paint it, uh, which if I'm gonna do that, I might as well just leave the screws in there. So screws are staying in there. Um, but anyway, it's all done. If you saw, I was using my little guys. These are my spacers for my shelves to make sure they all come out the right size. Let me try to stand this thing up for you really quickly. You can get an idea of how humongous this thing's gonna be. It's gonna be a heavy unit. Okay, so there the thing is. 62 inches tall. Each shelf spot is 11 and three quarters of an inch down to the bottom, which is gonna be a little bit off of that. So it looks like it's about 11 and a half, which is totally fine. I can totally live with that. So that's what it looks like. I think it looks good. Let me check and make sure it's level. I'm sure it is, but let's just look. Cool. Yep. All right, perfectly level. So that's that. Um, I'm gonna do all that over again and build the other one. And if we got time, we might put together the lower cabinets. So I'm gonna go ahead and build the second one of these real quick and then we'll get going on the cabinets. Okay, now we're gonna put together this bottom cabinet. Again, we don't have the front of it, so it's basically just gonna be the two sides uh, and the two back plates. And then we might put the top on it, but probably not here. We wanna make sure we got the fronts on so it's nice and square. So we'll get these uh, glued and screwed real quick. And then that will be it on cabinets. All we gotta do then is go get our wood to make our face fronts and we'll be ready to roll. So let's put these uh, two lowers together real fast. Okay, we've got uh, the lower cabinets all built. That is the carcass and the upper cabinets, as you can see. Let me get over here so you can kind of see what's going on. So that's what the uppers look like. So five even shelves. The bottom one's a quarter inch smaller just because of the weird sizing. No biggie. Again, I did screws on this side. I'm gonna bondo over all of that. On the front, 
You've got, so this is the front of the cabinet you're looking at right now. So we're gonna have a five inch piece right there. That's gonna go at the bottom. Then of course, just a face frame going up, face frame, and it's gonna go around and frame out a drawer. Again, I'm making that out of uh, premium pine from Lowe's. So I'll go grab some of that. Uh, not today, it's Thanksgiving day today, so not today. Um, I'll go grab some of that later on tomorrow on my way home from work. And then we can get going on that. So this little piece I just, I just had, I wanted to make sure I had some type of support. So when I put the face fronts on, we'll have something to nail to. So face fronts will go like that. That'll give us a nice clean face front and make our cabinet exactly 16 inches. And then of course you'll have your face fronts on each side. And there'll be another one going across right around here to create the drawer space. And then of course the five inch tall one down here at the bottom, that's gonna create a spot for our trim to nail to because the trim's gonna be on the outside just like our island. This is gonna match our island. And then, um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tops for these two cabinets. The tops are going to sit flush on each side and overhang an inch and a half over this front. So basically with the face frame on, it's gonna overhang another three quarters of an inch out past the front. So they're gonna be 16 and three quarters of an inch long. 33 inches wide and we're going to attach those with pocket hole screws so we're going to do some pocket holes right here um, three across the back two on each side and then we'll we could take a couple right underneath here to fasten it down of course gluing it also so we're going to cut those out of that board right there and then once those are cut we're going to take this stuff inside and set it up uh because it's getting cold outside and I want it to, the wood to be the temperature of the house so that I don't have any issues there. So we're gonna wind up probably doing the painting and everything inside because of how cold it's getting outside. Unless I get a nice warm day. So we're gonna cut our tops, get them installed, move this stuff inside. All right, I got the first top cut. All I did for these is I set the board on top, lined up the back perfectly instead of measuring and then I just traced it cut it out so I'd get perfect edges all the way around so this one all looks good fits good nice and smooth perfect all the way around it so I'm going to go ahead and get some pocket holes put in get this one attached um, and then I'll do the other one off camera so let me get my drill set up and we'll do these pocket holes Okay, and there's one cabinet all completed up. Give you a quick taste of what the side profile is gonna be with the face frame on it. Oh, yeah. So that's how the side profile is gonna look. A Little bit of a lip. And then we'll have the face frame that will go out this far. We'll have this much. And then of course we'll have a three quarter inch wide door. So all said and done, the doors will be flush with the front all the way down. It'll look super, super nice. And then uh, I think that's it, what we're gonna do. So obviously like the sides, these are gonna be covered up by the fireplace center. And then on the fronts, what we're gonna use to cover that, we've got this is three quarter inch by eight uh, pine, real skinny quarter inch wide stuff. It's gonna sit right on the front, just like that. 
And that's gonna give us a nice smooth surface and hide the uh, plywood. So it'll sit just like that on the front of this lip. And then of course on the front of the shelves, when those go in, it'll be on the front of all those to make those nice and easy and paintable uh, without having to do a whole bunch of extra work. We're just gonna add these little quarter inch pieces right on the front. All right, here is a rough view of everything in place. Let me move this board out of the way so you can see better. Okay. So that's where the cabinets are gonna be going. So next thing I've gotta do is I'm gonna go ahead and build my face frames for these, get the fronts put on all those. And then we're gonna be building a two by four frame in the center there, which will be holding our fireplace. So I think that's what we're gonna be doing next. We're gonna pull everything back outside and start getting our face frames built. Okay guys, so that's gonna wrap up this portion of this video. Uh, I think we're gonna probably be three videos total for this entertainment center. So obviously today's video, which is the building of the cabinets, the next video will be going ahead and getting the paint work done on these cabinets. And then we've got to go ahead and get them installed inside on another video. The installation will include getting the cabinets put up, getting them mounted, and then starting to install all the electronics, the fireplace, building the frame for the fireplace and all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that fun stuff down below. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.